Here's another example of the same type. Uh, please try to use the skills we've been working on to write down everything you can about these two. Uh, I'm sorry. Please try to use the skills we've been working on to write down everything you can about this object. Remember, this is one object that's represented by, these two, uh, by both of these vectors. Well, we were given the overall vectors, but we're too sophisticated to try to use overall vectors. We know that we have to break those into components. Uh, all right, so let's break this velocity into components by using the overall velocity as our hypotenuse. So here's our right triangle. Um, and this is useless unless we put arrows on the components. Well, the overall vector is pointing down and to the left. Can you see how the overall vector is pointing down and to the left? So the components should be pointing down and to the left. Don't leave out those arrows. And also, don't forget to label every leg. This is v sub x, and this is v sub y. Please label all three legs of your triangles all the time. Labeling everything is a very helpful uh, practice in physics. Something I wanted to point out here um, is you can see here that the x component is bigger than the y component. There's nothing that says that the, um, the two components have to be the same. In this case, our x component is uh, bigger than our y component. It's fair to compare those because they're in the same units. You can always compare things that are in the same units. This is in meters per second and this is in meters per second. So we can see that this uh, motion has a bigger x velocity and a smaller y velocity. Now let's do the same thing for the acceleration. Let's break that into components. Draw a right triangle that uses the overall acceleration as the hypotenuse. We have to put in arrows on the legs. Well, the overall vector is pointing up and to the right. Can you see that the overall vector is pointing up and to the right? So the components are pointing up and to the right. And we have to label them. Please make sure that you're always labeling all three sides of each triangle. Now our interpretations. Uh, so the velocities tell us which way we're moving. The horizontal velocity is left. So we're moving left. And the vertical velocity is down. So we're moving down and to the left. This object is moving down and to the left. Remember that the acceleration doesn't tell you which way you're moving. The acceleration tells you whether your speed is increasing, decreasing, or constant. The acceleration tells you whether your speed is increasing, decreasing, or constant. But it doesn't tell you which way you're moving. Uh, horizontally, our horizontal acceleration is right, and our horizontal velocity is left. So horizontally, the two vectors are anti-parallel, which means that our horizontal speed is decreasing. Our horizontal speed is decreasing because the horizontal acceleration is anti-parallel to the horizontal velocity. How about vertically? Well, let's see. The vertical acceleration is up and the vertical velocity is down. That's, again, an anti-parallel relationship. So the vertical speed is also decreasing. A sub y is up and v sub y is down. They're anti-parallel, so the vertical speed is also decreasing. So we have an object that is moving to the left with a decreasing, with decreasing speed, and moving down also with decreasing speed. One more thing we can say about this object. We know, it, we know it's moving left and moving down, uh, but which of those two components is it moving faster in? Is it moving more quickly horizontally or vertically? What's bigger, its horizontal or its vertical speed? Well, we can see that from our picture. I already pointed out that um, the vertical velocity um, here seems to be shorter than the horizontal velocity. And remember that the length of this arrow is the speed. The speed is the magnitude or length of this arrow. So from looking at the picture, we can see we have a lot more vertical speed. I'm sorry. From looking at the picture, we can see we, we have a lot more horizontal speed than vertical speeds. So this is something else that's um, very useful to be able to pick out um, from a picture. Remember that it's perfectly legitimate to compare the horizontal and vertical components of the same vector because they're both in the same units. It wouldn't make any sense to compare the length of the velocity with the length of the acceleration. It doesn't make sense to compare the length of the velocity with the length of the acceleration because those are in different units. That's an issue that we've discussed previously in the videos. Velocity is in meters per second and acceleration is in meters per second squared, so it's pointless to ask whether um, the length of this arrow is longer than the length of this arrow. That's comparing apples and oranges. Um, but it can be interesting to compare two legs in the same triangle. 
um, because those are all in the same units. So we can see here that we're moving left and down, but our leftward speed is quite a bit bigger than our downward speed. In fact, if I drew this to scale, we can see the leftward speed is, I don't know, maybe uh, three times as big as the vertical speed or two and a half times as big, yeah, maybe about three times as big as the vertical speed. So our leftward motion here is going much faster than our rightward motion. Here's another example of the same type. Again, please pause the video and write down everything you can about uh, this object using the same skills. We can't interpret the overall vectors. Instead, we have to break them into components. So let's draw a right triangle that has the overall vector as this hypotenuse. And label the sides. And then the hypotenuse would be the overall vector. We got to put in arrows. You can see the overall vector was pointing up and to the right. So vertically, we're moving up. And horizontally, we're moving to the right. Then we do the same thing for the acceleration. We draw a right triangle that uses the overall vector as its hypotenuse. We have to label the sides, and we have to put in arrows. We can see that the overall vector here was pointing up and to the left. So our legs are pointing up and to the left. Now the velocity tells us which way we're moving. Horizontally, we're moving right. And vertically, we're moving up. And acceleration-wise, the horizontal acceleration is anti-parallel to the horizontal velocity. V sub x is to the right, and a sub x is to the left. So our horizontal speed is decreasing. Horizontal speed is decreasing. Our horizontal motion is slowing down. But our vertical speed. Well, a sub y is up and v sub y is also up. So a sub y is parallel to v sub y. So our vertical speed is increasing. Our vertical speed is increasing because a sub y and v sub y are both parallel to each other. So vertically, we're speeding up. All right, so now we've pretty much described the motion of this object. One more thing that I kind of hope that you noticed. We know that we're moving right and we're moving up. But which way are we moving faster? What, what's, what's faster, our, right, our horizontal motion or our vertical motion? We can see clearly from this picture that even though we're moving to the right, we're barely moving to the right. Uh, we, have barely any vertical, we have barely any horizontal motion. Almost all of our speed is vertical speed over here. You can see that because the vertical leg here is way, way bigger than the horizontal leg. Um, so again, that's a little piece of extra information that can be very helpful to notice on um, kinematics problems. Uh, because our vertical velocity here is so much longer than our horizontal velocity, we know that our vertical speed is way greater than our horizontal speed. We're moving to the right, but we're really only just barely moving to the right. We're mainly moving up. And in fact, notice um, we're moving to the right, but not very much. And notice that the horizontal speed is still decreasing, whereas the vertical speed is still increasing. So right now, we're moving a little bit to the right, but mainly up. And pretty soon, we're going to be moving uh, even more strongly up and even less to the right.